think when you focus on the art, then the money comes, right? The money comes in abundance. And that's why this, this, uh, this podcast is not called the business of e-commerce. It's called the art of e-commerce. Episode one of the art of e-commerce. I'm excited, man. I think we're gonna, <laughs> this is our second time recording this, by the way, um, which is a good prelude to what we're gonna talk about in this podcast, all about commitment, all about getting those reps in, all about iterating according to feedback, all about just that hunger for constant feedback, and uh, a bit of a, a bit about growth mindset, uh, not in a cliche way, <laughs> but in a, in, a, in a way that actually, um, you know, essentially our take on, 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 on the growth mindset and, and doing shit that makes you a bit uncomfortable, um, which is really the, the key the key to growth. 100%. And, um, you know, it's good to be back for episode one. But at the same time, this is also episode, like, God knows how many at this yeah. point. I think we've done, like, in full disclosure, uh, we've done, like, 18, 17 episodes already. Um, so this is not episode one. This is not our first time recording. Just letting you know. But I think it does speak about, um, yeah, getting those reps in. And it's also great that it is in our first episode because the first yeah. one was pretty trash too. The first episode was just absolutely shocking. Um, and that's what, you know, I, I always say this, like, look, the first of anything will be shocking. I was, we were fully ready. We were fully prepared for that first episode mm -hmm. to be shocking. Honestly, looking back at it just now, because we, we, we watched the first episode and we're like, ah, oh, it's, it's not too bad, you know? Like we could have put it out. Um, and I, I would have put it out because I'm, I'm all about like progression over perfection. But at now we can, I think what's cool now is like we can speak about exactly. the process and the journey that we've gone on. Um, and one of the, the, the first things is, is, you know, understanding that the first of anything is going to be shocking. Like my first cold email, shocking. My first sales call, shocking. Our first podcast, shocking. Um, my first like YouTube video, terrible. Um, so yeah, for people to, to understand that like a lot of times they see like, they see content creators or they see, you know, I don't know, uh, they see entrepreneurs, right? And they think, oh, you know, how, 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 you know, how are they able to, to master this, right? They've just put a lot of reps in and their first of anything was just absolutely terrible. Uh, but it's, it's also how fast you execute on that first thing, right? Because I'm always trying to get the first one out of the way as soon as possible. And that's why we committed to record um, two episodes every single day for like the past like two weeks. Yeah, man. And I mean, something you, you touched on um, briefly a few minutes ago as well, like the fact that, you know, you don't do your things all in one take, you know, mm -hmm. every YouTube video you make, is not like you're, you're talking at the camera for 30 minutes straight without making a single mistake, mm -hmm. you know, and, and um, being able to, to react to the feedback you've gotten, knowing that, you know, some, some things you can improve and some things you pick up along the way as well. And that's something I've really felt uh, throughout this podcast journey. Like we, as you said, the first episode we did was you know, okay, maybe it wasn't that bad, but it was pretty trash, especially compared to some of the later ones we've done and, and that you guys will get to see. Yeah. Um, but you know, the, the important thing is that the progress is there for all to see, you know, and um, it's, it's a steady journey and we've definitely taken steps in the right direction, but also because we're looking to improve, we're watching things back, we're asking for feedback. We're, um, you know, seeing how we can change the setup here and there, the lighting, the light bulb, the, the quality. Yo, the star pole has been a game changer. Yeah, it actually has. Guys, if you're watching on YouTube, comment, leave a uh, hashtag light bulb. If you think the light bulb is looking fire. Even the candle. Yeah, but <laughs> low key, remember the episode where I put, so we have this candle, we light it up. Uh, I just think it's such a vibe. This little candle, like, you know in the recording like in recording studios yeah. they light up candles and shit and it just gives it a whole new vibe but man right here put up his <laughs> candle to my left this light bulb to my left as well in like a 35 degree th probably 38 degree yeah. day hot as fuck in madrid man was sweating i don't think what episode uh was that but you'll see one. you'll see by the the water droplets on your forehead yeah dude. <laughs> that was bad but not 100 percent. sorry it's quite off so before we go into um like what what we're aiming to do and and the point of all of this in the first place um just a quick word on commitment right 
because you as you mentioned since i've been here just over or just under two weeks at this point and um we've been recording pretty much every single day two podcasts sometimes three and um you know you were very adamant at the start especially like first day i remember being like yo do we really have to record today like i just arrived i'm tired all this stuff and you're like dude as soon as we get the first one out of the way that's when like we'll we'll really kick mm. on and and jump from there so like a word on on commitment and what it's meant yeah. especially throughout this this process yeah. and, and i'd forgotten that um like yeah it's, it's funny you arrived like one well like 1 p.m right i don't know 3 p.m um and on that same day, like 7 p.m., we were recording two podcasts, like straight out. And, and you hadn't recorded anything in your life. Like you'd never been in front of a mic, uh, just like threw you into the deep end. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, the, the, the thing about commitment is a lot of people tell me, especially when it comes to growth online, um, but really like, you know, building your agency, like all this stuff, building businesses. Um, and one of my, the tools that I always use in my arsenal is just commitment. You know, it's just like, I'm going to, I'm going to, do this every single day until we get better at it and it isn't just about getting those reps in like you need to make sure that what you put out you're watching right you're looking at the feedback like you're you're analyzing you're dissecting otherwise like there's no brains to it right mm-hmm. but when you match the consistency when you match, uh, match the just raw like human like i don't know energy right that, that we put into the, the podcast with the brains of like being able to say, well, you know, I didn't like what I did here. Like I, I need to speak more clearly. I need to articulate a bit more. I need to, you know, sit out, you know, sit up straight, <laughs> like whatever it is, right. Um, then, then you get, you know, progressively better over time. But that, that, that's been my, my whole like spiel and, and my, my whole like thing um, up until this point, obviously looking at the feedback, you know, seeing what's going back, iterating according to that. But if you look at the way I grew my agency, right. If you look at the way I've, I've grown my, my audiences, for example, like TikTok, I was like, I'm going to record two videos, come hell high water every single day for the next six to eight months. And I did that come hell high water. Like those videos were uploaded. Um, same with my agency. Like, obviously I was looking at the data, right? I wasn't just, cause I, I don't want people to say, well, I'm just going to do this. Right. I, cause I see a lot of people like, I'm just going to put out one video every single day, or like, I'm going to do this every single, every single day, but you're not looking at the data. So what you're lacking is being able to improve over time, right? Like that's, that's the key here. Like if you're doing this over time, you're going to improve over the stuff you've done previously, right? But it's, yeah, it, once you do this, you, you start making marginal gains because execution is everything, right? And so when you start getting comfortable in front of a, a mic, right? Or when you start getting for, uh, more comfortable in front of a camera, the output is just going to be better. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's doing it, you know, come hell high water when you don't feel like it, when you're tired, like you just get it done. And maybe it's not great. Maybe you don't put it out, but at least you're telling yourself like, I'm, I'm committed to this. Like we're doing this, right? And um, I, I, I also do believe that you can always take something away from it. Like for example, our first two episodes, we're not probably putting them out. They're, they're not terrible. They're not great, but we can at least take that a bit of feedback from that, right? So it's this constant like hunger for, for feedback. That's very big. And especially like, you know, th- there's a big difference between commitment and willpower, right? Mm. Because willpower depletes and yeah. willpower is finite. And that's something that, you know, some people are, are going to be like, oh, train your willpower to be able to do this every single day and, and this kind of stuff. But no, in the end of the day, it's just commitment and discipline, right? And if you're doing it, if you're like, we've had days where we were tired as shit. And the last thing we wanted to do was sit down and record two mm. podcasts, you know, we wanted dinner. Um, but we still did it. What do you think got you through that? Like, what do you think got you to, to be disciplined? Because a lot of people may be listening to this and they're like, well, that's easier said than done. You know, like I just want my dinner, right? Like I'm not recording podcasts at like 8 p.m. when I've just wrapped up my whole day of work and I've woken up at like 7 a.m. Like, so what, what do you think like helped you in those moments? For discipline? Um, here specifically or in yeah, general? He, here, but, but also like making a general point. I mean, to make a general point, because especially because here specifically, like coming into a new surrounding and being in your ecosystem and seeing the the ethic you have day in, day out, um, it's almost like I don't have an excuse, mm. you know, like I'll, I'll, I'll jump into it for sure. Um, even if I can't perform up to like the standards I'd expect of myself, I know that like I need to get this done. Um, but in general, discipline is just like, knowing knowing your priorities you know like what is it that i want to achieve 
and then having that end goal in sight and then breaking it down like, okay, let's reverse engineer this. What do I need to be doing every single day to be able to get a step closer to where I want to go? Mm. And, you know, sometimes it'll be small things. Sometimes it's like, um, I don't know, maybe you need to read 20 pages a day. Maybe you need to immerse yourself um, in the community more. Maybe you need to be answering messages. Maybe it's outreach. Maybe it's um, watching particular videos. It depends on, on the stage of the journey, right? But like being committed to that, that fact of like marginal gains every single day and um you know pushing through the days where you're too tired or saying no to the homies who want to go uh, grab a drink or or do something on friday night saturday night because you know you have to wake up early the next day to get started um it's yeah it's it's really just just taking steps um a day at a time and knowing that every day you're getting closer to that end goal you envision 100 percent. i think part of that as you said is is having the you know starting with the why first right like okay i i know why i'm doing this right um so what do i have to do every single day to make sure that i'm not being incongruent with with uh, the outcome that i want out of life right i feel like a lot of people it's i mean it's easy to talk about your big why but then when it comes to like making those tough decisions what you know f- or executing on the 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 one thing you don't want to do um and the one thing that you should be doing that's that's when it gets a bit trickier you know for people that that's when you start you know, you start putting it off and, and, and that kills your momentum. Like, I think uh, a big thing is, is building momentum. And, and I think, you know, even from, you know, from my, uh, from my side as well, like I, I, I was coming, uh, so before we started the, the, the boot camp, right, as I like to call it, uh, I was, um, you know, I'd, I'd been traveling a bunch, right? So, I, you know, I was also getting into that momentum and you were, you know, you were also entering the boot camp, uh, the boot camp right? And so uh, I think like the reason why, we were so incredibly precise with what we had to do every single day is because momentum is everything. And so if you look at uh, the momentum that that I've been able to build, that you've been able to build um, to this day throughout the past, like what, like 15, 20 days, it, it's all been because we've committed to doing the stuff that we had to do even when we felt like we didn't want to do it, right? And then now all those things be, uh, are, are so much easier because now you have momentum on your side. I feel like a lot of people underestimate the power of momentum um they don't they don't really understand that like you know the the version that you are currently uh right now right it's not the version that that is going to be like at a, that, that you're going to be at 100 percent productivity or or you know getting all that stuff done uh, every single day or, or reaching your goals like you just have to build progressively to it but the key to that is being consistent with the things you're going to do right and starting out small maybe you know as you said like you know the first day you're reading 10 pages right but you're consistent with that over the next four days and then you know maybe you switch to 15 pages and then you do that for five days and then you switch to 20 pages and you do that for six days and blah blah right um so i think i think momentum is has has also been a key component and a key part of the formula that a lot of people just completely miss right and um when you don't when, when you're not consistent it's very easy to just lose all the momentum you've built because now you've just said like, hey, let's stop the train, right? Uh, you're maybe going uh, 200 miles per hour, right? Let's stop the train and now you have to restart the whole machine. And and that's tough. And, you know, based on, on that of starting the train, there's also this concept of like, oh, I need a day off. I need a rest day. And like, don't get me wrong. Of course, you need to recover. And of course, like there are days where, you know, if you burn yourself out this whole time and you're on little sleep, like you, you are going to need to catch up or else it's going to catch up to you. Yeah. Um, but the importance of getting the small wins on those days, even um, mm. doing what you need to do, getting that meditation session in or or um, journaling or sending that bit of outreach or spending those 20 minutes on doing whatever it is that will will move the needle forward. Just keeping that momentum going so you don't stop at a halt and have to pick yourself up is so, so powerful. And that's one of the probably one of the keyest lessons I've learned over the last year or so. Yeah, I think that's also the key to longevity, you know, because. Yeah. Um, I, I again, I, I don't see. I, I used to be very extremist, you know, like it, it was either work a ton or just crash completely, right? And you realize that that doesn't have much longevity. Like the key is to find the balance every single day, right? Like you get enough sleep every single day. You structure, you know, you're getting exercise in, right? Um, and then maybe like in, in more on the micro side of things, right? Maybe half a day or a day, right? On Sunday, whatever whatever you, day you want to pick, right? You take it slow, and maybe you don't do any work, but you still do a few things that that uh, help you further, you know, to to uh, help you uh, grow further, right? Uh, but the key is to like, especially for longevity. What I've seen is 
you don't want to go f- you know full mode like you know send it and then all of a sudden just like completely do nothing right mm-hmm. uh, and just what watch netflix the, the whole day because that for me like i, I it, it really just goes all momentum so i think finding that balance is is really key to to uh induce that momentum and keep that momentum going because it's not a, it's not about doing you know working every single day it's about like you know structuring your days so that you have that longevity so that you have those breaks built in so that you can you know have stamina uh, over over the long term and you know since we've already touched on commitment and longevity and momentum um i think we could just take a step back and just address the question of why are we even doing this right like mm. what's why have we been at this for for so long for for so hard and um what are we trying to achieve like what's the goal of the podcast i think the podcast first of all you know we were having this conversation a few days ago right and and, and just my just my you know I, I i just don't like competition right i think competition is for losers i've spoken about this extensively on on my other socials um and i think competition is, is just something that you shouldn't look for right uh what i'm constantly looking for is how can i carve out my like our own lane right and and tap into a blue ocean instead of a red ocean so would you say i mean could you say this is an entrepreneur an entrepreneurship podcast Pro- probably. probably yeah probably right but i feel like our approach is is a much it's 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 seen from essentially it's, it's from a much younger point of view i feel like a lot of the entrepreneurial podcasts that i've listened to in the past right um most of those dudes are they're 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 old dudes right um like they're they're maybe in their 30s 40s and and they maybe have a, a bit of a different perspective they're not um you know they, they, they've already been through through quite a bit right already like we, we've been through quite a lot as well um but i think adding a a, a younger perspective uh also when it comes to like the way you structure life and the way you live life we're not going to tell you how to live absolutely not right um i'm, I'm really big on that like i don't you know i, I don't believe in the concept of life coaches mm-hmm. i do believe in mentors for specific uh, areas right whether it's building a business, driving a car, like whatever it is, like specific skills, specific things that you're you're doing, but I, I don't believe in, in life coaches. So I think it's looking at the entrepreneurial space and the and and the entrepreneurial lifestyle through a much younger perspective and honing in on the e-commerce um, side of things, right? On the e-commerce component. Specifically, the service-based business when it comes to um, e-commerce, right? So building an e-commerce agency where you're servicing e-commerce businesses and we're going to talk extensively about strategies to you know to grow uh, e-com brands and strategies to close um, e-com clients etc etc but also there's going to be uh, you know the, the podcast is going to be valuable for e-com owners as well right so owners that are looking to grow their brands i think the the, the main thing is, is for people to understand that we're not just going to talk about e-commerce right that there's going to be a key pillar and a key component we're going to have incredible guests um on the podcast talk about e-commerce you know some of the greatest founders um in the game uh we're also going to be dispelling some of the, the the growth hacks when it comes to e-commerce growth but also helping those who are just getting started in the entrepreneurial space um who should be going down the service-based business that i that i'm such a big fan of and that we both do as well um and 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 essentially helping these people build their service-based business around helping e com brands grow right and i think that's a really cool combination the fact that you know the, the the information can both help e-com owners but also those building agencies to help these e-com owners so hopefully that makes sense <laughs> I, I know it was a bit uh um complicated but yeah that, that's kind of like the if you could call it like the target audience right or or um you know the people that could find value uh out, out of this podcast and you know just touching on that as well you mentioned the the younger people like young entrepreneurs or at least aspiring entrepreneurs like in the end of the day, we're both quite opinionated guys, right? And um, we we both kind of know what we stand for and, and we speak our minds freely. But we're not here to give anyone life advice. Mm. We're not here to, um, you know, tell anyone how to how to do X, Y, Z or, or how to live. In the end of the day, I think you could distill most of what we've come up with in, in a sentence and, and say it's, literally like testing for yourself listening to the feedback and applying it as you go along Mm. and um you know of course we have um great insights like you've you've built a behemoth of a business at this point um over the last uh, three or four years 
Um, I'm earlier in my journey, but I've seen you go through everything. Like I'm, I'm, I've been in the space for a while. I've been grinding. And that's why I think it's a yeah. really, it's a really incredible combination as well. Yeah. Because I think, you know, there's the, the certain people that they can take um, a bunch of the strategies, a bunch of the stuff that, that I've, that I've uh, dug up through my journey. Um, but then, you know, they look at you and, 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 you know, they, they see that you're just a few steps, right? Um, and, and, and that's also valuable, like also getting your take, um, in the initial stages, I think, I think it's a, it's a, it's a really cool thing to have, um, the, the full spectrum. Definitely. But yeah, no, just to, just to end that point as well, just being like, you know, take, take what you will take what you want. Um, but in the end of the day, we're not here to, to tell you how to live life. Yeah. And I, I mean, and, and we, we, we talk about this in, in some of the upcoming episodes, the, the fact that, um, if anything, we were big proponents of seeing the world through your own eyes. Like, I think there's a lot of value again in taking specific strategies, right? Specific, um, knowledge that can be applied to a specific space. Like for example, building uh, an e-com agency. I, I know how to do that pretty well. Right. Um, but, but also, you know, understanding that when it comes to like the way you structure your days, right? we talk about routines, we talk about nutrition, like we talk about like a bunch of really cool stuff that, 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 uh, we're certainly passionate about all that stuff is just for you to maybe listen to kind of, um, you know, maybe take a, a few nuggets away from it, but try it yourself, see the world through, through your own eyes. Yeah. And, um, you know, that goes for us as much as it goes for other people in your life, be it, you know, the friend who wants you to go out or the parent who wants you to become a doctor, mm -hmm. um, see it for yourself, see what resonates with you. If that's what you want to do, then hundred percent go for it. Um, if it's not, then, you know, there's other people you can listen to as well. And um, there's going to be no better teacher than experience and yeah. failure. And even applying that to like the creation of this podcast, hmm. I didn't really set out with a very clear strategy. Like I didn't, I didn't think like, oh, you know, this is how I'm, I'm going to monetize on this, how I'm going to create a business out of this. And, you know, here's what I know. You know, I, I think um, there is value in, in having a basic strategy. Like this is how many podcasts we're going to put out. Right. This is, these are some of the topics that, that I like to talk about, but, um, I think when, when you start over and analyzing, right. And you start thinking way too much about the business side of things, the financial side of things, you miss the art, right. Um, you miss the art of, of thinking about what is good for the audience, right. What, what is the audience, what, what does the end consumer really want, right? How can I add the most value? And I think when you focus on the art, then the money comes, right. The money comes in abundance. And that's why this. This, uh, this podcast is not called the business of e-commerce. It's called the art of e-commerce. Because I think when you focus on the art, right, you focus on um, how can I best serve e-com brands? How can I grow real businesses that add value to real humans, right? Not how can I drop some, some stuff from China so I can make myself rich. When you focus on the art, um, then the money comes. Um, I think that's a, that's a really good way to, to wrap it up. 100%. All right, honey. <laughs> Thank you. Um, for uh for this first episode finally we got it done <laughs> much better so, this so uh you know pat on the back but uh if you guys enjoyed this uh go ahead and, and uh leave a like on uh, on and you're watching this on youtube go ahead and leave a like uh also go ahead and subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you never miss uh, any of the upcoming episodes our next episode is, is a really cool one we talk about happiness we talk about um you know how you feel when you start making money big big uh, big bags um and essentially really we we, we deconstruct um the journey right and so it's a, it's a really cool episode so you're not going to want to miss that and if you're listening on audio only apple podcast spotify wherever you listen go ahead and uh, subscribe for more episodes and with that being said thank you guys for listening in uh, we'll see you in the next one peace Bye.